What is up YouTube? Back with this overdue update video. Uh, it's been almost one year since my first video, almost six months since the last one I did. I want to start by just thanking you all for everything that happened this year. It was very interesting and it's time to explain to you why I stopped vlogging, uh, what I have planned for this channel, what I've been up to uh, poker wise and life wise and just everything that's new. So welcome back to the vlog. So the first question that has been asked many times already, uh, why did I stop making video? What's happening with that? Um, the real reason is simple. Uh, it was becoming very repetitive to do hands, 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 and I just wasn't enjoying it as much. And on top of that, the really the straw that broke the camel's back on this is when I had a video planned that I was already, uh, the session was played, everything was thought of, and I was just editing and it was taking a lot of time. Then if I'd go play another session and get interesting hands that were played or footage that I wanted for another video, then I'd be two videos behind and almost want to not go play more poker and focus on the videos. So it was really taking my mind off of poker, which is it shouldn't have done and I should be able to split it and like put my focus where I wanted to, to be. But in the end, it just wasn't working that way and it was adding some pressure that, that I really didn't like and actually stop making video to play more poker and not the opposite way. I just, it's not like I stopped playing poker altogether. I've actually been putting more hours in uh, the past few months than I had before and having a lot of fun with it. Um, being in Montreal, we're lucky that we have a few interesting tournament series every year. And the past few months, we had two of those. We, there was the WPT Deep Stack at the Playground Poker Club. And then there was the OK Poker Classic at the Montreal Casino. Uh, played a lot of tournaments, which I had not done as much before. Maybe I was I used to play three four tournaments a year And I played about uh, seven or eight entries in just those tournaments series along uh, It was fun to meet new people because it's not just the same crowd that plays the cash games all the time It's people coming from out of town uh, people. We don't see as much from Montreal So that was great to network not being as experienced in tournaments It was also great to just play with some big pros and see them at the table what they're doing differently uh, What separates them from other players at the table and it's given me some good pointers of what to work on going forward in tournaments because I plan to play uh, Anytime the series come to Montreal. I think we get something like four or five every year so I want to get into tournaments more, play all of those. Uh, the people I met were amazing too. It's good to have people that if you're last minute want to play a bigger event, you can sell pieces. It's just good to have a network in anything you do in life. So that was really fun. And coming off of the tournaments, I decided to travel a bit, went to see the Encore Boston, which is a very nice property. Uh, the win in uh, Vegas was already one of my favorite room to play in. It's just so spacious and good lighting. A good environment and the one at the Encore in Boston is just a step up. It's on the second floor, everything's open so you get that same feel from the room but with even more space. It almost doesn't feel like you're in a casino. Uh, the service is amazing, everything's great. Uh, the action was alright when I was there, it was during Thanksgiving weekend so maybe a bit more player before the weekend and a bit less player there afterwards but it was great fun and it was good to travel to new places and see new rooms also. With all this behind and only a few days left before the end of the year, I thought I'd do just a quick recap of the year. Uh, it was an interesting year poker-wise uh, with the videos, with just different games I've played in. Overall, the results were okay. In my usual games, I was doing great, but took some shots, whether it was in Vegas or in other bigger games, and didn't go so well there. So, got some things to work on there, whether it's uh, the mental side of it's games that played later, games that played bigger, maybe I didn't handle myself as well as I do in my typical games. So that's all interesting stuff that I want to work on and that's also where the shift for this channel goes. Um, poker in general entails much more than just hands and reviewing that, studying the theory. There are also so many life elements that come into it and that in my opinion make it one of the most beautiful games out there. Uh, there's just the emotional, the mental, uh, sometimes, if, especially if you're playing live, you're playing long sessions, so it's managing your energy, uh, being as sharp as you can, showing up uh, at your best or close to it as much as you can, and just making the most out of it. So that's one part of poker and of just life in general that I've been finding a lot of passion for over the past maybe two or three years, uh, whether it's just health, well-being, uh, mindfulness, training, eating well, different challenges with that and um, little projects. So that's when I want to shift this channel to more of uh, the well-being 
and just self-improvement in general. I, it's not about the guru stuff or a uh, very technical theory of uh, if you optimize this in your life. It's just really quick tips or uh, small changes in behaviors or routines, different habits, things that I've changed, uh, things that I want to try and document as I'm trying them. Everything health, performance, and just things that I want to put on this channel and not be just poker. So I don't think there'll be any more poker videos going forward. Maybe a few here and there if there's some very interesting stuff. But I want to take all this time that I was putting into the overlays and the editing and just put it more into uh, learning, sharing that, and also spending more time on the actual edits. And the more art part of it that I've yet to explore really, and it's something that has my curiosity a bit more. That's the plan for the videos going forward. Uh, I want to just take what I learned, take what I experienced, and put it into a simple and easy to digest uh, content that's also fun, uplifting, and just not taking it too seriously, having fun with it, maybe find some people to collab with. It's all about just experimenting new things, trying to live a healthier and happier life. Uh, there have been some up and down, and all those things that I've tried had a purpose, and that's what I want to reflect in the future videos. So as usual, I thank you so much for watching this. Uh, the first six months of the year when I was making more videos was just awesome to get your feedback, uh, meet a ton of people, whether it was from the Discord channel that's gonna be linked below, uh, the comment section in general, uh, people that came up to me, whether I was traveling or in Montreal, it's always fun to strike up conversation with you guys and I really can't thank you enough. So if you've enjoyed this video or want to follow along with any of the new content and if that's something that interests you, please subscribe and like the video. And if you have any ideas of video in that line of thoughts or a question that you have about uh, the other side of poker, whether it's mental game or health, uh, just put them down below and I'll answer all of them to the best of my knowledge and uh, to my experience so far. So thanks again for watching. I uh, wish you all very happy holidays, all the best, and just have fun out there.